Here's Jordan Berry now, as he's on to punt for Pittsburgh. His first punt, 48 yards. This one looks equally as good. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Titans offense now, they work their way back onto the field and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys, win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs, and that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. And yeah, they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. Partner, that's excellent timing right there. Breaking off the route and being able to hit it right when he stops. Mariota now. Perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Now Mariota. And he finds a man with a crossing round. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. 13 yards is the pickup for Tennessee and a first down. So they're on that play. Offensively, they're in the crossing round. Defense was in zone coverage. So as a former DB, how tough is it to defend that? It's really difficult because your natural inclination is to chase the receiver and maybe leave your zone. So you have to have discipline in order to Talk to your other coverage guys and let him know that that receiver's crossing from your zone to the next zone. He's coming your way. Make sure you have him. And then when the ball is actually thrown, secure the tackle. When they're moving on crossing routes, if you miss a tackle, it usually results in a big play. This will probably be the last play of the quarter. Watch the call. Watch the call. Check 52. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They come out with one back and three tight ends. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Throwing is Mariota. He's got Lewis. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And it'll be second and goal. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read. Better execution and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. To throw Mariota. It's caught by Davis. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. From the gun, Mariota to the end zone, but it's incomplete. So now fourth and goal, you're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance. I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they could not punch it in. And credit the defense, too. Make sure that that happens because that was the old bend but don't break approach. Made sure they contained them when they absolutely had to and forced the field goal attempt that went through. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Here again comes the captain of this offense leading his crew back out there now. And the passing game, I mean, look at the numbers. It's falling off. When, when a team is struggling, sometimes you look at the quarterback. When the quarterback starts to struggle, who goes over and picks him up? Yeah, that's always a big one, isn't it? Usually, 
there's a quarterback whisperer somewhere. And what I mean by that is, whether it's an assistant coach, whether it's one of his best friends on the team, someone that can get in his ear, get with him and say, all right, my man, what do you need? What's going on here? So he's one person he can lean on. He's going to have to lean on that guy right now. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And he comes back with one complete. Cool under pressure right there, escaping the pocket and finding what I think was not his primary target. And some of these guys are just so comfortable getting outside of the, the pocket that they'll do it on purpose. It doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, They move, and they know it affects the defense because a lot of times you get lost in coverage in the secondary, and I think you're exactly right. Wasn't his primary target. Found a secondary guy who sprang open probably because of his movement out of the pocket. Now it appears we're going to get whistles and a stop. A man down on the return. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. <laughs> exactly. You put it through the post, that's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that help him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about that. Toe bash. <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> And they're able to get this one across the 35. Tennessee getting the first down on a big play of 18 yards. Back to back good plays have them on the move on first down. Mariota to throw it. Complete. Smith has it. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Mariota again. Completes it to Davis. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like, yeah, they'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Six yards, the pickup, and that's a first down. Mariota now from the 50. And the grab made by the tight end, Pruitt. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. They'll throw again. Mariota. He'll get this one into the hands of Lewis. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. And they're left looking at third and eight after the second down pass play only went for two. Mariota, he's going to loft one deep left side. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. Let's go, let's do it. Now you're at the point in the game right now where you got to start taking some chances, and that chance paid off. And it's a good idea to be that aggressive because truthfully, the defensive guys, they're just playing not to make a mistake. That often means you can make a big play against them. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Again, it's Mariota. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Here's the former Heisman winner. It's Derrick Henry. Well, sometimes I get caught in hyperbole, but I think they desperately need to punch this one in. They're running out of time. Yeah, two-score game, second half. You're down here. This is the time to put it in the end zone. Man, not going to get much better than this for an opportunity. They'll run for the Deion Lewis. Uh, and he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Deion Lewis, 
His second touchdown of the afternoon as they have now chopped this lead down to three. Able to punch it in on third down makes it easier for those guys on the sideline. They didn't have a fourth down decision to make. Yeah, could you feel the exhale? Because they were already thinking ahead as all the good coaching staffs do. Anticipating what we have to make the call. They already had it lined up. Never even got to it. Extra point try now for Suckup. And the lead is down to two. A 10-play drive that time. And it ends with a Deion Lewis touchdown run. So the lead shaved to two now as the kickoff is away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. And several days ago, you and I talked with a couple of guys in the meetings about how big is home field advantage. And they kind of downplayed it a bit, but I think we're seeing here today building up this lead. Looks like they're going to win. Why home field advantage in the divisional round so important? Yeah, they may have downplayed it, but we could also sense that it was important to them because nothing has to change. You don't have to uproot anything. Sometimes when you're going on the road, you may have to even leave early in order to get acclimated if it's going to be tough environment against the team you're going to play. So being at home was a big deal, but now they know. At least they feel like it. They're moving on to the championship. Championship round, and there's got to be no better feeling. They'll get that 24 hour roll in. Enjoy that before they look forward to the next opponent. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion, so now here's third and 10. Able to find Switzer, and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. That one good for 14 yards and a Steeler first. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Back to throw, Burns. And he whips that one incomplete there. He was looking for Eli Rogers that time. And that'll bring up second down. To throw again, Burns. And he fires one incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Operating from the gun, Burns. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. Critical play in this football game, because if they pick up the first there, that clock keeps rolling. Has to be a little frustrating for them, because they know that if they pick up a first down there and continue to eat away at the clock, really increases their chances of closing this one out. Now they're likely going to have to give the football up and sweat it out on the sideline. The field position game is such an overlooked facet, Charles, of an NFL game, but this offense, they're going to be pinned back. What an ideal punt. An ideal punt, and it leads to that term complimentary football because them doing that puts their defense in a great spot, doesn't it? Gives them a chance. If they want to be aggressive, try and maybe get a safety out of this whole thing, it puts them in that position. First and 10, here's Mariota. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throw it, Mariota. And complete to Lewis over the middle. And he'll be upended at the 18. That's a very helpful pickup of nine after the play began at the nine. On third and one, here's Mariota. And he's got a man, Corey Davis. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. And that's understanding where the markers are because it's not just running to them. Because on the catch, you could actually be pushed back before the first down. He's getting past it and allowing that opportunity to drift back towards the first down line and still having picked it up. Really well run. First 
first down, Mariota. And he will find Davis, that's complete. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Mariota now. It's complete, he dials up Davis once more. That catch good for five, it's third down. On third down, it's Lewis. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. Here's Brett Kern now as he's on to punt for Tennessee. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. And the Steelers set to take the field. They're holding on right now to that slim advantage in a one-score game. And you hear a lot about two-minute offense and four-minute offense. Obviously, the four-minute offense applies here. How do they run that effectively? Yeah, really what the four-minute offense is is you're just trying to grind the clock. So you want consistent gains, steady gains. Doesn't have to be big plays, but it has to be plays that gets first downs and keeps the ball away from your opponent. But certainly throwing the ball is in the mix here. It certainly is. Just make sure that you're careful with it. And again, get those first downs, keep possession of the football. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. The catch and run there, good for 16 and a first. Nice job, nice patience right there. Put him on the right side, let him work his way across, put the ball in his hands and let him work his way upfield with a catch. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Throw on second down. Burns. And yes, complete to the tight end McDonald. And to the 42 yard line here and brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. That's taken in by the tight end Perkins. Foul, unnecessary roughness, defense. Wow, a personal foul at this stage in the fourth. Hard to believe. Really hard to believe. And now that glow of hope that you had begins to flicker out, doesn't it? Yep. You got nothing today. You got nothing. That one looks like he'll throw here. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop. 150 left in the football game. After the sack, it's second and 19. And the road gets a bit tougher from here. And he'll give it here to his running back. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll talk it over here before what'll be an important third down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Collins. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And Boswell's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to five. 
So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. This will be taken in at the one. And it'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Mariota sets to lead this offense. Down by five, a little over a minute and a half remaining. It's got to be a touchdown here, and that won't be easy. On the road, in the playoffs, as they've got it with a first down. Now Mariota. Complete, this is Lewis. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Back to throw. He's got Smith here. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. First down, Titans gain of 12. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Mariota yelling out the play call as he hustles everyone to get set. Oh, no, he lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And he's got daylight. It's a foot race. And this defense has broken it open as they return it to the house for six. This was a close game. They needed a little breathing room. Boy, they got it right there on that return for a touchdown. Yeah, we would say that this could be huge. Forget it. It was huge. Gave him a comfortable lead. point now by Boswell and this one gives his guys a 12 point lead so not only the cough up but then the pick up on the other side the scoop and the score the other way the fumble return for a touchdown this is fielded at the goal line and he'll take this one near the 25 call it the 26 yard line The Titan offense now working their way back onto the field. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while or you call it a day? You can do that or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better and try and execute that on the way out the door and maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end a, as you end a ball game. It's been a frustrating one for you. Uh, we'll see if they go back to base. A really nice gain of 25 yards. And he is going to be stopped here at the line of scrimmage. And time is going to expire in this football game. And they're moving on to the conference championship. How about this? What a tremendous feeling to get to the game that can get you to the Super Bowl. A fantastic season. Unfortunately for the other team, a tough, tough way for it to end. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Steelers are winners as we say so long from Heinz Field.
Y'all ain't no time this shit. Playing skills, you did. Playing, playing, playing skills. Ice on the wrist, uh, uh, call on the wrist, uh, uh, all on the wrist, uh, uh, watch how I flip, yeah, watch how I win, uh, uh, I'm in the whip, uh, uh, I'm in the wrist, uh, uh, I never switch, uh, uh, ice on the wrist, uh, uh, call on the wrist, uh, uh, all on the wrist, uh, uh, watch how I flip, yeah, watch how I win, uh, uh, I'm in the whip, uh, uh, I'm in the wrist, uh, uh, I never switch, uh, uh, ice on the wrist, uh, uh, I get the money, but I never switch.